No. No. Are you even listening? I swear to God, I will end you. No, I will, slowly and creatively. Hi, come on in, one sec. I'm just on a call. No, don't you dare hang up. I'm not done with you yet. You will make this right, right now. Just have a seat over there. Give me a minute. I'm so sorry. This won't take long. No, tell Stella that if she doesn't take care of it, I will. Oh, yes. And then you get to deal with the consequences. Your neck, her neck, all the necks. Oh, no. Broken would be too nice. Think more creatively. Think knots. Got it? Good. Get it done. Don't call me back otherwise. <sighs> Sorry about that. That meeting was supposed to be over well before now. Anyway, hi there. You're here for the job interview. Oh, yes, you are in the right place. And right on time, too. That's a good start. Yes, it's wonderful to meet you. I should probably introduce myself. I'm sure you guessed, but I'm Aubergina in the flesh. Go ahead, take a minute to marvel at my awesomeness. Go ahead. Marvel. You're probably nervous. That's totally understandable. But yeah, I am me, the one and only. Although, if you get the job, you can just call me Miss Gina. Of course. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Why don't we sit and talk for a bit about the role and see whether you're the best candidate for the job? What's the matter? Oh, you didn't realize... You... Right. Okay. I guess the ad was a tad vague, but yes. Like I said, this is the right place. I'm the one hiring for a personal assistant. Yes, seriously. I mean, why wouldn't I? I might be a supervillain, but I'm also a person trying to run a business. Even a business empire, if the growth numbers stay on track for the next few quarters. I see. You thought that supervillains, what, lived in caves or warehouses? Paid their henchmen and whatever money we steal from randoms on the street? You thought my evenings were spent brooding in a big high-backed chair, tapping my fingers together and plotting the demise of every hero in the city? You don't have to say anything, I can tell. That's cute. But come on, supervillains aren't just thieves and arsonists. We think bigger, a lot bigger. I'm building a multinational syndicate. Power is a lot more important than money or fame. Oh yeah, I don't even care that much about eliminating the heroes, as long as they stay out of my way. But that's neither here nor there. We can continue this conversation if you get the job. How's that? Good. So yeah, personal assistant. You can probably tell by looking around that I'm in pretty dire need of help. I know, it's messy, and I finally realized I can't do all this on my own. Managing my calendar, making my travel arrangements, stopping for coffee, getting the dry cleaning... Oh yeah, these suits aren't machine washable. It's a real pain in the ass. Anyway, I can't do it all and still do the actual work I need to do. So it was time to bite the bullet, so to speak, and bring someone on board. And here you are. Exactly. So that's enough about me. Let's talk about you. Yes, please. I know I have a copy around here somewhere, but if you brought it with you, that would definitely be faster. Thank you. Okay, hmm. Oh, you were an assistant for Martin Scorsese? That's really impressive. What's he like? Oh, really? I did not expect that. That's interesting. Hmm. I'll be honest. I'm not sure that I'm happy with how quickly you gave up that information. All I had to do was ask. That's true, I am intimidating, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize the laser was pointing at you. Force of habit. <laughs> uh, anyway. I mean, no, it's not a deal-breaker. You're nervous, you want to impress me. 
Plus, it's not like you'll ever turn around and tell any of my secrets to anyone. Of course you won't. They'd never find your body if you did. Okay then, let's move on. This is all good stuff. Oh, web design. I could definitely use some help with my website. My traffic is really going down. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have any SEO experience? That's useful. We can work with that. Hmm. So you spent three years in Florida. What do you think of it? Yeah, I visited a few times. I don't spend a lot of time there. Nah, not really. They don't have much a supervillain would be interested in. And frankly, they do a pretty good job of screwing themselves over. Although, I do want to go back to Disney World sometime. Oh, you know, giant corporation, lots of inherent evil there. Plus, I want one of those ice cream bars that look like a Mickey head. They're great. You should try one sometime. Okay, then. Let's see. Magna cum laude. Very nice. So you're smart, too. It's a good thing. I encourage intelligence and hard work and creativity. I'm all about letting people grow and thrive and really excel in their roles, or even move up if there's space. Why do you look surprised? How do you think a supervillain keeps a staff if she doesn't treat them well? Do you think people are lining up to do evil on spec? Hell no. The smart play is to hire good people and then make it worth their while to stick around. When you engage and support your team, they really do go the extra mile for you. They want to. It's a beautiful thing. That's why I start everyone at $15 an hour plus benefits, and vacation time starts to accrue the minute you start. And as for professional development, there's ongoing training available for anyone who wants to keep learning. Oh, all sorts of things. Martial arts, basic explosive assembly, code breaking. Oh, and there's a great recurring class on business accounting principles that I think you might really enjoy. Mm-hmm. We also have coffee and tea in the break room, always, uh, pizza on Fridays, and yoga three times a week in the lounge. Oh, and bring your dog to work day. That's my favorite day. My third highest henchman, Eddie, he has the cutest golden retriever. I could play fetch with him all day long. So anyway, yeah, this is a regular job, and I expect everyone to do their best work. We're a team. God, no, not a family. I hate that. I feel like companies that say they feel like a family are just looking for an excuse to treat workers like crap and not compensate them. You know, like a real family. No, we're a team. Everyone has a role. Everyone works together to keep a supervillain machine chugging away. That makes sense? Good. So now I have a few questions if you'll indulge me. Great. You seem to be getting more comfortable. I'm glad. So... Tell me what you think your greatest flaw is, and if you say perfectionism, I will burn your insides out with this laser right now. No, everyone says perfectionism is their flaw. It's never true, and it's just another attempt to suck up. Don't even bother. Just be honest with me. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, good answer. No, it's okay. You can exhale with relief. People do that around me all the time. Okay, how about you tell me about a time that you tried to do something and failed? What was that like for you? What did you do to deal with it afterwards? Sure, I get that. Oh. Ah, okay, I'm with you. Right, and then... Oh, I see. That was definitely a failure. So what did you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. I like that. That's some seriously out-of-the-box thinking. No, I mean it. Like I said, I encourage creativity. Absolutely. I will say, I'm getting a pretty good vibe from you so far. You seem like quite the go-getter. I mean it. I'm impressed with both your resume and your presence. So I think I'd like to let you ask some questions first, but before we do that, I need to do a couple of quick security things. On you, just routine stuff. 
What, you thought the metal detector and bag check at the door were everything? Not even close. There are already several cameras and several very large weapons trained on you right now, even though you probably can't see them. And of course, I'm sitting here with the ability to kill you about seven different ways before you could get out of that chair. But still, we can't be too careful. So, here, put this in your hands, please. It won't hurt. I know it's glowing, but it's not hot or anything. Just hold it. There you go. This will tell me if you're hiding anything. Better than a lie detector. Lie detectors can be manipulated. This can't. Hold still for just a sec. Okay, looks good. You're being honest with me so far. And there was no ill intent detected. Nice work. Hey, you could easily have been sent here by one of the heroes. Word gets around, you know. Even though I wasn't super clear about the job in the ad, it's still a small, chatty community we're in. I'd guess at least half the applicants for this job were infiltrator wannabes. It's sad, really. Would it bother you if I had killed any of them? Think hard, because honestly, this job can be a bit messy sometimes. Oh no, nothing like that. I won't expect you to be killing anything. That's not your job at all. But, you know, sometimes you might have to order up a cleaning crew, or schedule a building demolition, or call in a few favors for me. Exactly, personal assistant. I still do the job, you just help make sure all the loose ends are tied up neatly. Okay then, do me a favor and look right into the scanner, please. Again, it won't hurt. Yep, yeah, okay, thank you. Just getting your retinal and brainwave scan. We'll keep it on file in case you ever give me any sort of trouble. Not that I think you would, but, you know, doesn't hurt to be prepared. Mm-hmm. But seriously, I'm told this is a great place to work. Our reviews on Glassdoor are always really positive. I take a lot of pride in that. And I hope to find someone for this role that can slide right in and immediately begin making a difference. Okay, now that that's done, what questions do you have for me? Yeah, the hours might be a little flexible. Some early mornings, some late nights, some weekends. But I will always make sure you are thoroughly compensated for your time. Oh yes, 100%. And your mileage. And any supplies you end up having to buy. Oh, that varies. It would take a long time to explain. Don't even worry about it for now. It's fine, we'll go over it later. Look, you know it's fine because I'm not laughing maniacally. It's all good. What else can I answer for you? That's an interesting question. I mean, the short answer is no, most people don't quit. Most people love working here, and they stay for their entire lives. We have anniversary parties every month too, by the way, with cake. Yeah, but as far as quitting goes, it doesn't really happen. We're pretty close-knit, you know? Once you're on the team... Yeah, I think you get me. Oh, now there's a good question. Yes, there are NDAs out the wazoo that you'll need to sign, as well as waivers, releases, and some fairly specific insurance documents. If you have a personal life, like family and stuff, you can't tell them about the job or about me, especially about me. Well, like I said, they'd never find your body. But honestly, if you broke one of my NDAs, you'd wish you were dead. My legal team would rip you to tiny, tiny pieces. And then I'd get to do the same thing. See how that works? Yep, discretion is key. But you know what? Everyone seems to be good with it. It's not as hard as you think to keep your mouth shut. Remember what they say. Three can keep a secret if two are dead. That's actually printed on a banner on the fourth floor, come to think of it. It's very motivating. All right, any other questions you have for me? Can you... Oh, I guess so. There's a trash bag over... Yeah. Well, look at you, taking the initiative. If you think cleaning up on my takeout containers and empty cans will impress me, you're right. I'm glad you don't seem as nervous anymore. That's a good thing. Okay, that's good. Set it down. Come here. I think you're a great fit for this position. I get a good feeling about you, and you seem to be eager to do the job. So how about we start with a trial run, a week or two to see how it goes. That sound okay? 
Great. Hang on, I'm going to call one of the lesser henchmen up to give you a tour. Um, let me page Tony. He usually doesn't have much to do. Tony, hey, it's me. Can you come up here and take the newbie on a tour around the facility? Thank you. Okay, then. He'll have you sign all the NDAs and stuff before you see the rest of the building. Don't worry. You'll put your phone in a lined locker, too, so there's no signal going in or out while you're here at work. That's how it works when you're a supervillain. Gotta run a tight ship. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you, and I look forward to seeing what sort of havoc we can wreak together. Come back here after the tour, and we'll finish the onboarding. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs>